What's going on everybody? It's your favorite Auntie Mo and I am back for another episode review of Tokyo Tony's Finding Love ASAP. This is season one, episode like six, I believe, five or six, something like that. I'll put it up right here. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I am getting over being sick. Have you guys missed me? I missed y'all. Um, I've been sick as a dog, as you can still hear all of this going on. But um, before we get into the review, as always, church announcements. If you have not done so just yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Before you leave, give me a thumbs up or thumbs down and then hit the notification bell so you will know whenever I upload new content. Um, I want to plug a few things real quick. First and foremost, y'all like this shirt? You want this shirt? You want to be this shirt? Positive Vibes, I will leave the link down in the description box below where you can get this shirt and many, many more shirts like this. Use coupon code AUNTIEMO15 and you will get 15% off your purchase. Also, y'all like my lipstick? Mm -hmm. It's popping. This is by Mikey Glam Cosmetics. Ooh. Got my cuticle oil all on here. Mikey Glam Cosmetics, you guys. This is Kiss that I am rocking. If you like this color and you want to get this color, many other colors like this, I will also leave the link down to this in the description box below. Mikey Glam Cosmetics. I love this lipstick, y'all. I've been trying it up with all different liners and all this. Um, this is, um, I think this is um, a cocoa lip liner that I have around it. I don't know. It's Coco, something like that. But the lipstick is Mikey Glam Cosmetics, so get that. Y'all, this is, I want to say, <clears throat> the second to the next episode, if I'm not mistaken, is going to be the last episode to this first season of Tonio's Find and Love ASAP, which I'm a little bit disappointed if it is because this show actually turned out to be way more entertaining than I thought it was. So shout out to Manisa out there that recommended that I watch this because it turned out to be way more entertaining than I thought. However, tonight's episode, well not tonight's, last night's episode, um, I don't know when I'm going to put this out because I don't know when I'm going to be done editing it. The episode was a little bit dry. It wasn't all that good. Um, Black China was on last night's episode. And so she got a chance to kind of talk to the guys, fill the guys out, see who she thought would be best uh, for Tonio. But, um... Yeah, y'all, it wasn't a whole lot that went on with it. some funny parts here and there. But anyways, hopefully y'all are ready for this review. As you know, I am on keto, so um, I'm just drinking some water tonight. And plus, I need that to help lubricate the palate and all of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm sounding a little gentlemanly-ish. Y'all, please forgive me for that. You know what I'm saying? But hey, hopefully y'all are ready for this review because I'm ready to give it to you. So let's go ahead and get right up into it. So it starts off with inmate 14823, um, Mr. Salsa and Popeye. Now, they just sitting back, they chopping it up. Because remember the night before, Tonio damn near killed they ass with um, blunts and booze. She got them cocked out on their doggone ass. And so, you know, they just sitting there, they chopping it up, just talking about the night before, you know, and um, the different guys that got eliminated and stuff, right? And so, um, for whatever reason, um, Mr. Salsa and, um, inmate 14823, they kind of start going at it about push-ups or whatever, right? So they start to, and then, um, after that, who was that? Uh, Popeye and, uh, inmate 14823, they kind of started clowning on Mr. Salsa and how he was doing his push-ups and shit. They was just sitting back having girl talk of shit. Yeah, I bet y'all know how to do some push-ups, okay? Hey, look, 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 this old prison ass workout. Listen, Popeye comes in this motherfucker with how my form is whack. I do this for a living. This is my life. You know why we want it looks good to break Tokyo? Because I know she like big guys. No, big, no, 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 big no, no, no. She big. like gangsters, nigga. That's Gangsta. what she like. No, she like yeah. big guys. Gangsters <laughs> with no paper. This motherfucker, he from the south side of Chicago. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, you what didn't no paper. I'm what just saying, I'm just saying. saying. That paper. I get to it again. You get to it? Yeah. You think she's gonna have time to wait like 20 years from now? You get your no. paper up? This paper. We're talking about in. money. Money. Oh, money. You what? motherfuckers shop at the same store? Come on, man. And they say, don't, don't worry about it, nigga. I'll go get money. That ain't nothing, all right, nigga? Your P.O. watching this, and as soon as you get back to the house, he gonna be waiting on your ass at the door. Now, you said she was gonna get back to what now? You said she was gonna do who now? Yeah, you better use caution. Watch what you say, nigga. 
Then MA-14823 asked Papa about Lyrica. Now, we ain't forgot about how he was filling up on her ass on the side of the pool when he was trying to rub her down with the lotion and all that. Yeah, nigga, we ain't forgot about that. Seeing that little shit. I'm not on that. I'm not on she that. I'm and here. I know your thirst, I'm here for Tokyo. Are you sure? But you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to make you. Well, sure? so y'all trying to play me out the game. That's some bullshit. This is years of fine tuning and development. You better find another lane, cause that ain't gonna get it, bro. Do you see that your body to get Man, I already got, I already know. That idea. Man, look. Wait, hold on, hold on, hey, I ain't hey, cotton, don't touch. I would know English very well, but I, I know the language, so love. Yeah, you love everybody, don't you? It don't matter. Whatever way, whatever way. For a chair. I thought you only take this protein shake. But I saw you as like drinking like a fish and smoking like a chimney. Like a chimney. Like a chimney. 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 The motherfucker sauce, we don't understand shit. This motherfucker saying his accent so fucking thick. I'm Popeye, so I eat and smoke my spinach. Say he drinking like a fish and he smoking like a chimney. They do my nigga Mr. Salsa wrong, but he ain't got no business there. Any dog gonna wait, not around the player like damn Tonio. She gonna chew his ass up and spit his goddamn ass out. But you know what? On another tip, that damn Papa, I don't trust his ass. I don't trust his ass for nothing. He seemed like if given the opportunity, he would mess around with doggone Lyrica. It's something about his ass. I don't trust a nigga got shifty eyes. I don't trust a nigga with shifty eyes. A nigga with shifty eyes still change out your purse. I'm just saying, I don't trust that nigga. So then it's Big D, Romy Rome, and Cookie Monster. They over there on the other side of the house. They talking about Bay Night and how <laughs> Romy Rome got towed up from the fucking floor up, beat up from the feet up on that goddamn, on that weed alone. And then you know he was probably a recovering alcoholic too or whatever that was. She done put a tree in his ass because he got goddamn toe up the night before. So they sitting at the table and they talking about they night. Yeah. Look at you. Always something impressive. Always something new. I try. Cookie monster. He was holding his own, but it started coming down to the big boys. Yeah, Two brothers went yesterday. The next elimination is coming. Yeah. She won a real yeah. man. Yeah. Say, what a real man. Mm. What do you think? I think she likes a handsome, big, strong guy. She, there's something about you she likes a lot. I don't know what it is. Maybe Christmas is coming up, and she wants somebody to entertain the grandkids. I know what it is. She but, wants a uh, present uh, for uh, Christmas. Are you going to let me finish what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. 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 OK. You know, it would be much better if you did not do any negativity. See, Santa Claus, just work on a ho, 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 ho. Let me hear that. No. Ah, 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 ah. Why is Cookie Monster there? Why is he there? He's somebody else ain't got no business around a player like Tonio. I mean, I don't want to call him weird, but the nigga's weird. He does weird I'm shit. The only real one. Yeah, you had any barbecue kind of chips? Dude, yeah. you're always eating. Well, you What's up eat? with you? Do you got worms? What the fuck is this shit? I think you got paper. That's when I keep my pills in. Your pills, your pills. medication. What kind of pills? So you want to go with Tokyo Tony? Asian orange. What? Huh? Asian orange. I saw Tokyo Tony got to take care of the Tony. Yeah, he Tokyo Tony got to take care of you. That's what you want. Does she know that? And he goes off. No, no, yeah, yeah, I see that. He, you know, he I always go off. He's not home. He don't listen. Yeah, I don't need to listen. He's I got money. But he's not. I'm a but rich ass right. nigga. I can do the fuck I want to do. Yeah, funky hoe. See. Weird shit, weird as hell. But what the hell was Romy Rome talking about? That nigga's like somebody old, drunk ass uncle. These, all three of these niggas at the table having a whole different conversation with themselves, but all with each other at the same damn time. I'm like, what <laughs> kind of motley cruel odd bunch is this right here? You gotta go, man. At least I ain't here with my kinky son. Oh, that's fucked up. Is that a racist oh, or that motherfucker? You pull that Trump shit before oh, to the front. Because my son is an African American, he's kinky. Man, you better shut the fuck up. Man. You've never been around so many black folks yeah, before, man. huh? And they got that's man. a used language like and kinky. Just, shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> Big D. Get your stinky ass out of here. But you got somewhere to go, man. But it's clear. But you got somewhere to go. It's clear. Yeah. I'll be the winner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch me. Yeah, 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 yeah. What the fuck? Ain't that a bitch?
You know what I'm saying, man? So Lyrica and Tonio, they end up talking about the guys that she eliminated from the night before and the guys that she still has left. Now, I told y'all, she really ain't feeling none of these niggas like that. I need a big nigga. He was too corny for me. You think so? too big. I like my man small. I was not feeling these dudes. No, China's on her way. She's on her way. Oh, yeah, damn. you know, she knows what her mom like. Me and my daughter, Black China, coming through, picking out what might be good for me could be a good thing. But who the fuck knows? She, she gonna drill him. She gonna drill him. Because she know what I like. She knows what she wants her stepdad to be like. She ain't gonna want me to be fucking know anything, nigga, with no white socks. Well, I'm sure she don't want to think about that part of it at all. But y'all just fucking, she want to make sure. Girl, put your legs down. Okay, let's she wants to get you in trouble. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute, oh, wait a minute, here's the sound, bitch. Oh, yeah. That menopause, bitch, oh, that menopause. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Antonio's a goddamn fool. So Lyrica asked her, what do you have planned for them, like for the next elimination ceremony? Before that, what are we gonna do? So um, Tonio decides she wants to play a little trick on the guys to kind of like get in their head and kind of throw them off to see how they will react to it. Look, what do we what do we got planned for tonight's challenge? This is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, make them believe that they're coming in to see me, but when they come through the door, uh, it's China. And then not only that, she can get their secrets. Like, listen, my mom this and that. Listen, I ain't gonna tell her nothing. Da 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 da. And they might be like, well, secretly, you know, da da da. Or for real, for real, I want Lyrica. Or oh, I'm just know. saying, on, I mean, honestly speaking, there or, you go. There or you go. no, 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 seriously. Or I'm really not here for her. I just. I don't have shit else to fuck to do. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'll go down, I'll tell the guys. And now, you want them all to come to the room? Or one at a time? One at a time. How they all gonna come to the I room? I mean, you know, one at a time, shook them up. We'll see who's the back. What? If my daughter Black China likes them, I might give it a little shot. So I can pick who I want to send first. Mm -hmm. I don't need, you, you're not gonna tell me who to send. Just go by what I'm you see. I'm just gonna see. go by, okay. I got you, baby. I got you, girl. And guess what? I what? One of the motherfuckers is into some toast sucking, baby. I need. I got you. Okay. Okay, baby. girl. Hmm. I love you. My toes sucked on. And they cute too. <laughs> I ain't even mad at you. Hi. Now, first up is Cookie Monster. We already knew that, you know, we already know Cookie Monster is a little bit weird. And then with him meeting Black China, you know, no offense, pretty girl, but y'all, y'all seen from <sighs> The real Black China, she don't have a whole lot of personality and conversation, so that was a disaster from the get go. Just riding. Do you have any sports or anything that you like to do? Would you like to go surfing? I think that not to be rude. Just get okay. up and leave. Just leave. Just go. I think you should do that right now, so I can right. go talk to the next guy. Nice stuff. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Bye. God bless America. She was wrong for that. I mean, they... They didn't have nothing to talk about any goddamn way. Next up, y'all, was Mr. Salsa. I walk into the room, what's left talk? What's Black China? Her daughter. My future daughter in law. Wow. You are stunning. Yeah, okay. Imagine me being your stepdaddy. That would be hot. <laughs> It looks beautiful, like a real princess. Oh, thanks. So, so diamonds and everything. Wow. I'm very convinced that I'm going to be the perfect stepfather for her. For you, I can learn. Can I see it? Ah. Goddamn, Pepe Le Pew. Calm your little horny and he act like he ready to jump on goddamn Black China. Like, you know that would be your stepdaughter. That, that shit is weird, right? Your lips, your nose, Thank your you. complexion. Oh my God, you are very famous. Where are you from? Cuba. So you don't have no money? Well, I have credit, but no cash money. So no what money? I don't have cash. So all I need it is a wife. I can imagine living with you and your living mother. Living with me? Well, with you and your mother together. I can imagine us both living together either. That was awkward. Mm-mm. I'll pass on that. 
Next up, y'all, we got Big D. Now, I like Big D. He would, I really think that out of all of them guys, that he would be the best for her if she was somebody that was willing to, like, calm down and, and you know, turn her shit down a notch. But we can't expect Tonio to do that because that wouldn't be her real, true, authentic self any damn way. But I think he would be good for her if she was willing to settle her ass down. Kids, other than like Little D? Yes, I have um, my other son, Theodore Jr. Okay. He's 21 years old. How old are you? I am 51 years old. 51, when's your birthday? February 27th. What is that, like a Pisces? Pisces. Uh, is it Pisces? Yes. Yeah, I really don't know that much about Pisces, but like from what I hear, that they're like super sensitive. Like, are you like super sensitive? Yeah, I'm sensitive at times. But like super? I won't say super, but you know. Was Little D, was like you and the mother like married or like what was that relationship like? It was right. kind of shaky because I come from, I'm a Belizean, I had a strict foundation. So you're Belizean. Belizean. Yeah. Good luck with like getting my mom on a plane though. Uh, so what's up with you and my mom? Well, I'm here getting to know your mom. She's a lovely, beautiful lady. I just want to get to know her better and spend some more time with her. Does she scare you? No, she doesn't scare me. He's a good 51. <laughs> All right then, Mr. Belizean man. But again, she's not finna, when, what I say when I mean like she's not gonna like conform to his ways, like she's not gonna be submissive and, and wanna cover up more and just not, you know, just kind of calm herself down. Then again, that wouldn't be the real, true, authentic Tonio any doggone way. I'm just saying, that's just my thoughts and my opinion. You know, we got Romy Rome in the house. Rome in a watch your mouth. Hey, hey. I'm all right, I'm all right. Man, what's up, man? Doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. In the game. Put you out the game? We run them hoes. You run some hoes? You used to run some hoes. Or was them hoes running you? Yeah, well, a little bit of both, you know what I'm saying? That's what they do, man. Mom's pretty cool, I like her. You know what I mean? She's, she's a straight businesswoman. I like it. I love it, I love it. You know, I'm kind of like that now, you know what I mean? It's like, fuck off the dumb shit. You know, it's all about business. Pippin' them hoes. Nigga, what? Yeah. She's tight. How old are you? Uh, my actual real age? Are you serious? Um, I think so. Oh, no. How old do I look to you? Um, I'm not sure. Let's see. Um, if I had to guess, I'm gonna like say home. 54. That's pretty close. What is it? That's really close. What is it? I'm in my mid 50s. Man, what is it, man? Stop playing. Yeah, I mean, 54, like you said, 54. Don't play me. See ID. You play me. Oh, I don't get no ID on me. You know, I'm not allowed to have that. So you a scammer? You know what I mean? No. He's about no, to turn no. real quick. No, baby, ain't no scammer. No, how old are you? Stop playing with you me. You know what I mean? 54. Are you really? Yeah. I'm not playing with I'm you. I'm serious, 54. Because I'm going to have like police outside. I know that right there. I know that right there. I know you got your security. That's the last thing they want. That's the last thing they want. I guarantee you that. How old are you? 54. 54, yeah, baby. I found out that you're lying. I'm gonna like end you. I know. I know. I, I know. Oh, I hell know. no. Mm -mm. You lying. You lying about something. They need, they need to go lick this nigga ID, do a background check, do something on his ass, because you're lying. He out here catfishing bitches. He lying. Next. Mm -mm. Next up, y'all, we got MA14823. Y'all look. <laughs> I like MA14823. I'm just saying, I think he, I like him. And I'm just saying, you know, and that ain't just because I like niggas that been in and out of jail. I'm just saying, I think he's got a little swag about him that is like really cute or whatever. You know, you can you can tell the nigga anything because he just got out of jail. He don't know how to use Google yet. So, you know what I'm saying? You could, you could, she could probably conform him. To a certain way, to say, I'm just saying, you know. I mean, I really care for her. I love her. I love her. I love everything about her. The way you love her? Seriously. I know I don't know her like that, but I mean, it's like we come from the same places. I'm just digging her vibe, I'm telling you. You been to DC before? No, nah, but it, it doesn't matter. You know, if you if you from one hood, you from all hoods. And then it clicks. For me to be with her, I'm definitely gonna have to relate to her daughter and her family and all this shit. So, like, what do you do? No, truth be told, I just got out the joint. Probably only been home maybe five, six months. Okay. 
I think that's what makes me relate to her. I can see the hunger, I can see the drive. But time out though, how you know you love her already when you just met her? You you know her first and last name, that's about all. You don't even know how many times the woman has been married before. You got that doggone answer wrong, was about to risk it all and lose your life last episode because you ain't know nothing about her. Uh-uh, don't say that. Don't say that, you don't know nothing about her. Next up y'all, we got Popeye. How you doing? Hello. Y'all see how tight that nigga ass is? Ain't nothing going in or out his ass. Damn! What do you do though? Like, what are you selling? Is Different it... various ways to work out. Yeah, like, are you like a people's person or no? Not really? Yeah, I'm a people's person, absolutely. You think so? Yeah. Okay. She did ask me some basic questions, but I don't feel it was the deep questions that I wanted. Do you have clients? Yes, I have clients. You have female clients? Yes, I have female clients. Do you love them? Black China is definitely an attractive woman, but there was just something there as far as her, just her personality or vibe. There was just something that was off. If not, let's see what the deadlift is. You want me to show you? Yup. Okay. Well, Let me show with a deadlift. Well, you're basically picking up the weight mm -hmm. off the ground, but yep. you want to make sure that you have your back in line. You're not rounding your back. So you basically go down, get the weight, lift it up. That's not a deadlift. That was more like a squat. Well, she wasn't really feeling him off the top anyway. Like when he came in and sat down, she was kind of like standoffish from the get go. And then she asked about Lyrica. Of course, you know, he says what nothing going on between him and Lyrica. It just wasn't a good connection between the twins to them, any doggone way. So it was just real weird, just awkward. So it's the night of the eliminations, right? And China is giving her thoughts on, you know, a couple of the different guys there. Cause you know, um, Tony will ask her, what does she think? Tell me about Big D. What you think when you talk to Big D? Um, I think that he's very family oriented and he has swag. I think China likes me. Well, what about Romy Rome? I think that Romy Rome, I think that he has to like work on a few things and tighten up. Oh, bitch. So it's the night of the elimination. She down to the last six. She gonna have to get rid of three of these dudes, right? And I'm like, damn, three? She like, yes, ma, I gotta have to get, get rid of three of these motherfuckers. I said, okay, so who up first? Who finna get eliminated first? He, he can't handle you. He should have changed that hat, though. He should have. I been, know. You know you should have changed that hat, okay? Yeah. Now, while you had your head down, you knew your ass was getting eliminated. Just look at me like a motherfucking psychic right now, nigga. I thought it was maybe elimination. Go ahead and hit the road. You was exactly right. Romy Rome finally got happy. So, give me love. All right. Love you, baby. No problem. Not Romy Rome. Romy Rome gets eliminated? Ain't that a motherfucker? Who the fuck would throw me out? I had to eliminate Romy Rome because he was just too damn old. He had a broke ass back and couldn't handle all this pussy. Ah, uh, Romy Rome. Romy Rome. But you know what? We knew Romy Rome. I'm sure when he was pimping hoes, he probably didn't have a good handle on his hoes as it was. So he damn sure wasn't gonna have no good handle on Antonio's ass. So he had to go anyway. So I hate to see him go, Romy Rome, but. <laughs> He said it was pimping them hoes. So next up, y'all, we got Cookie Monster. We all knew eventually she was gonna get rid of Cookie Monster anyway, but y'all look what he did before he left. I was like, oh. I would love to see what this is. You scared? <laughs> <laughs> what the? What is? Oh. Ooh. Okay. Hey, man, you lose the here. I gave Tokyo Tony a coat. Would you like to try that it on? Mink? Um, sh sure. A mahogany mink coat that with a silver like fox me. tuxedo. That is amazing. Sure, why not? Let's well, see if it fits. What talking about? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, wow. What do you think? Beautiful. I wasn't thinking she does have ideas about animal rights. It's a fox. This is silver fox. Okay. And a mahogany mink in horizontal design. She really doesn't like the coat. Okay. Can I please have my jacket back? Thank you. A bit nippy out here. That is gorgeous. The coat cost $30,000 that I gave Tokyo Tony. The first gift I've seen someone give you. 
<sighs> this is this by is... far it's amazing. the worst thing that could have ever happened. I love your gift, but I'm not a user. You can take your gift back because you're eliminated. I feel unhappy. Josh, she better than me. What, what he said, that was badger velvet and, and, and jaguar cloth or something that was. He said a silver wolf fox or something. Baby, you, 30,000. Baby, that's a down payment on the house. <laughs> Shit, give me that goddamn fur or ferret, whatever the hell it was. That shit was beautiful. I walk around my house naked in that goddamn jacket. That shit was beautiful. And last but not least, y'all, we all seen this one coming too. It's such time for me to touch that. Well, you represent your country very well. What I do like about you is your bubbly personality. Thank you, baby. And your ability to get along with everybody. So what I'm gonna do is let you run off because you're eliminated. No, I was wrong. She get rid of me too. He wanted cotton in the first damn place. Some one of y'all out there told me that they was married in real life. We all knew that. He wasn't there for her. He he was there with his husband. Well, I have a confession before I go. If you don't want me, I'm going to hang around with cotton. Okay, and nothing's wrong with that. Yeah. You know, because so someone you weren't really here for Tokyo 20. Well, I was for her, but she doesn't want me. So you got uh -huh. a second option. Yeah, well, she is my first choice, but she doesn't want me. I can hang around with Cotton. And guess what? I totally That's agree weird. with you. People can be who they want to be out here. You know, you can love who you want to love out here. And I'm no hater. I have no jealous bone in my body, honey. So guess what? I'm going to sauce over there to you because we never got our dance. While you saucy your way up out of here, because you're cotton eliminated. Is, cotton is in the wind, waiting. Talk to you, Tony. You're the least just talk to you, Tony. I love you. Talk to you, Tony. Hey. Talk to you, Tony. You and Cotton should have some fun and live your life <laughs> the way you can. Do your thing, baby. And tell Cotton I said hey when you talk to him and hook up with him. Didn't work out. She did not, she did not, you know, she did not pick me. Neither. Hey, Cotton. What's that? Hey, what are you doing here? I come to take you away. Let's go. Oh, okay. Where are we going? Ah. There you have it, guys. Uh, there you have it. That was the end of the episode. Um, she's down to her last three, and like I said, I want to say the next episode is going to be the um, final episode of the season. Um, <clears throat> if y'all watched this episode, if it was anything that I missed, y'all already know, drop it down below and uh, let me know. Please say a little prayer for your auntie, because I'm still trying to clear up all of this, this nasally... Urkel sounding shit right here. Y'all y'all pray for me now. Um, as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And Auntie Mo will see y'all in the next video. Peace out. What's up, y'all? Do me a favor and share the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think and um, hit that notification button so you will be up to date when I upload my latest videos. I holla.